Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is going to be for the 23rd to the 29th of July. It's for the week ahead. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So Scorpio, this is for you. The Five of Pentacles, the mindset of lack, what's going on with you? The Four of Swords, you're deep in thought about something, you're having some regrets about something. The Magician, you're very magical right now. You have all the resources to accomplish whatever it is you're thinking about doing, okay? <laughs> the Ace of Swords, you will have clarity. You'll have mental clarity. You'll be able to see clearly. The Ten of Wands, and you're going to have or you have some extra responsibility on your plate. You have extra stuff on your plate. You may need to ask for help. The Page of Wands. Feeling happy? The Fool, a new beginning. The Three of Swords. But it comes with some sadness. Why is that? The Ten of Cups, happy family. Hmm. So new beginning, sadness, happy family. Let's see, Five of Pentacles, the mindset of lack. It's temporary. It does not last for long, okay? So get out of your head. Start seeing and realizing all that you do have. So on top of the Five of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Cups, new beginnings. You got a real new beginning coming. Maybe a change is coming where love is concerned or a new beginning is coming because I got the Ace of Cups, got the Death card, which is change, the end of a cycle, or maybe the end of whatever love story there was way back when. And then you got the Two, two of Wands here. You got some choices or you got a decision to make. But you're standing firm. So you got two, two, two doors to go through. And you got the four swords here on top of the four swords. We got the justice card. We got the nine of cups. And we got the three of cups. So with the justice card here, I would say that you have you've maintained your balance. Or maybe this ending had something to do with the legal system. Maybe things turned out in your favor. You got the Nine of Cups here, your wishes came true, and theirs was a celebration. So I don't know if it was a legal situation, but it might have come out in your favor because your wishes came true, and then there was a celebration. That's the Three of Cups, that's the Justice card, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Then there's the Magician. You're very magical, are you? Top of the Magician. You got the Strength card, you got the Ten of Wands, and you got the Tower. Hmm. Well, you're very magical. Are you aware of that? That even though you're going through a Tower moment, or you went through a Tower moment, you could still get yourself out of it. You didn't have to go with the whole chaos and confusion, you know, and the feeling of being just shaken, you know. 
You might have just stepped back and just let it pass you. What can you do, you know? So, you found your inner strength. The Ten of Wands, whatever it is that you are going through, you're coming out of. Maybe that's why the towel moment wasn't as severe for you. Because maybe you just went through your own, um, you know, another battle, you know. And then it just made you a little stronger. Sometimes that happens. So on top of the Ace of Swords, on top of your clarity, we got the King of Swords, we got the Star card, and we got the Princess of Wands. Now, the King of Swords, to me, that could be an energy in your environment. That could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you communicated something to someone, something about... Um, something that you've been dreaming of something that you're holding on hope for you know and it brought you some good feelings inside to share that so that's the king of swords the star card and the princess of wands on top of the ace of swords your clarity so maybe something happened that in you know, woke you up a little bit, make, made you feel revitalized. But it's going to make you feel like you got some extra responsibilities here. You got the Ten of Wands. On top of the Ten of Wands, you got the Six of Swords. So you're going to be successful with something. Um, and you're going to feel balance. The Moon, you're probably seeing things clearer about the past. Um, I got the Six of Cups. So you got the Six of Swords, you got the Moon, and you got the Six of Cups. And I think you're starting to see things much clearer. Maybe that's the extra weight that you're carrying. Not all the time is it something physical, you know, it could be emotional. <laughs> so then as the page of wands, the princess of wands, the page of wands, you're happy feeling, you know. And on top of that is the Prince of Pentacles. You got a routine down. Now we got the um, the King of Cups. That could be you, Scorpio. And then the Five of Swords. There's some kind of conflict going on here with you. What is going on? You happy? You got a routine down, you know? You emotionally balanced, but you got some kind of conflict. Maybe the conflict has something to do with this fool over here. You know, the new beginning, the leap of faith. You wondering, dang, you know what? I just went through this crap. <laughs> I just went through this broke, this breakup or whatever it was that you went through. And you know, my goodness, a new beginning is coming here. I, maybe I don't want it. You know, but maybe you just need to take the leap of faith. Maybe this conflict is within. You know? Then you have the fool. On top of the fool, you got the emperor. You got the fool. And you got the hanged man. You got... You got a new beginning coming. This new beginning will have you a little stagnant. Because for some reason, I feel you didn't want to really let go of the past, you know. But you're going to be stable with this new beginning. You're going to have stability. You got the emperor, you got the fool, and you got the hanged man. But you're going to be a little stagnant. You're going to be a little stagnant. You're going to, you're going to, have, you're going to go through a little heartache, you know. Sometimes when you really release the past, when you consciously release the past have, have that desire and when you do do it you do feel an emotion and a lot of times that emotion makes you cry and makes you sad but once you get over that feeling you rise remember we get stronger with every battle we face so on top of the Three of Swords, you got the Two of Swords, you got the Eight of Wands, and you got the Hierophant. So the Two of Swords, is, to me, is about lies in this deck of, in this deck of cards. You got to make a decision, in it, and whatever it was, it was surrounded by lies. Um, the Eight of Wands, you're coming out of whatever it is that you're feeling. And this might have something to do with, um, there might be something, maybe... Maybe what you're coming out of is that maybe it was a marriage. It was something, it was a committed relationship, a long-term relationship. 
And maybe you're finally coming to terms with everything and you're coming out from the feeling. Maybe you're letting things go. And the Ten of Cups here on top of the Ten of Cups. You got the Ace of Wands, you got the Nine of Swords, you got the Five of Wands. Why are you arguing? Oh. Excuse me. Okay, so the Ace of Wands is about being inspired, new inspiration, creativity, and things like that. It could also mean fertility. <gasps> hmm, something to think about, huh? But I don't see anything else here that would tell me there was any fertility. Oh, no. Only you know, but it, this is on top of the Ten of Cups. Maybe there was, maybe there is. Happy family. Maybe it's making you feel like, oh my gosh, I just got out of this relationship. Now I, oh. And it could be that it is a good, maybe it's something good. I don't know. I don't know, but you got a lot of conflict going on around you. I'm gonna pull you a couple more cards. You got the Ten of Cups, which is the Ten of Cups is down here as well. Happy family. You got the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe for a little while, you're going to be emotional. I mean, when you go through change in life, sometimes we go back and forth for a while. Until one day we, we decide to ourselves, we say, hey, you know what? I ain't doing this no more. This back and forth emotional roller coaster I ain't doing. Start loving you. Start taking care of you. Start bringing happiness in. It's possible, man. You got the Ten of Cups and you got the Nine of Pentacles. So there is abundance and you're going to be giving birth to your dreams, okay? You might even be moving into a home. There's a key in her hand and... There's a house in the background. I mean, this is money, you know? So you're starting to see your rewards. You're going to start to see it. You're going to have some inner conflict. All right? I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.